Let's see if we can see some kind of reaction. We've got something here, let's catch it on fire. It's paper, let's see what happens when it burns. Go ahead. As you can see, it's burning. And the paper turns to ash, and the ash floats. It's amazing how fascinating the students find this reaction. But let's talk about what you could do in terms of relating it to chemistry. I think this is a very important demonstration that you have to convey to your students for one particular reason. Why in the world when you heat a crucible or something like that do you need to let it cool? When you're using a three or four decimal place balance, the buoyant effect that hot crucible is going to create enough up current that that mass of the crucible is going to be less than what it actually is because of the buoyant effect. And so what you've got to do is to let the crucible cool to the normal room temperature before you mass it. Otherwise, that buoyant effect will affect the mass. So what have we done? What we have done is taken some normal dressmaking material. And you can go, yes, even you males can go to a dressmaking store and just ask for any remnants that they don't want anymore. And usually you can get enough free material to do a lot of demonstrations. I'm talking about hundreds of demonstrations. And all you want to do is cut it into some kind of pattern where then you roll it up into a particular shape like you saw. Now, this demonstration has been around for a long time. Where was it originally created? Well, some of you veteran teachers might recognize these, and some of you new teachers. Let's just take a little refresh back on some of us, how we had to deal with things. This is what we call a spirit master. And inside the spirit master, we had this protective covering. Typically, you'd throw this away. And then what you would have to do is write on here and then run it through a spirit duplicator and it'd duplicate what you could have written on here. No ability to recopy, no ability to make corrections or anything like that. It was horrendous compared to nowadays when you have computer. But if you can get hold of that, that paper works great where you can just fold it into like a triangle like that and You've got to watch out for the currents in the room and just do a little fold there. And I'd fold it into thirds plus a little extra part. And maybe it helps if you have someone hold it. And then just light it at a couple parts. And then as it burns down, just hold it like this. And the students, in fact, love the fire. But then as it burns down, it's going to get to the point where you have minimal ashes that are hot, and once again, that buoyant effect is going to raise the ashes, and they just love watching the ashes. But then, make sure you connect it with the crucible. So, the ditto rockets or the dressmaking material are excellent ways to quickly show why you need to do certain procedures in the lab. Thank you.